can't believe you're shorter than Volk. I mugged Volk. What you on about? I fucking mugged him. Hang on. He, he stood behind me. He was on platforms as well. He was not. He was not. He wasn't tall than me. Let me check. No, he wasn't. He, he, he was standing on... Yeah, so... I'm the same... I, I'm pretty sure I'm the same size as, as Mike and Mike mugs him. Um, look, see, this is, this is a, a different picture. Hang on. This is a different picture. It's, it was the angle, the face. I was taller than Volk. There you go. Look. Even without the hat, I took the hat off as well. We got pizza. What's Volt like? Sound down to earth guy. Couldn't, you know, my 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 guy was speaking to him for ages. And then I was like, oh, I'm getting pizza. And then Volk was in, in like, it was just me and Volk. We, we were getting pizza. And Volk dropped, the, he got nervous because he was around me. Like, I, I was merged up. I had all the block acid gear on. So I had all the block acid gear on, and a lot of the fighters, they love block acid. They all want documentaries making. They want work with block acid. And uh, he saw, I was part of the team that night, honorary member. Um, we, were, we were backstage with the block acid team, and he, he saw me in the line behind him. He got nervous. He started dropping pizza everywhere. Like, he was, he was trying to get pizza off the tray, put it on his plate, and he was just he was just dropping, fumbling, fumbling pizza everywhere, truffle mushroom pizza as well. Not like just normal pepperoni pizza, truffle mushroom pizza. I thought, Volk, I was like, Volk, what are you doing, butter hands? And he goes, um, he, he just scoops the, the this pizza off the floor, puts it on his plate, and I go, well, yeah, he's, a, he's a, basically he's the kind of guy that he believes in the five-second rule. He's a good guy, Volkers. He's a good guy. Gets nervous around superstars like me, but he's he's a good guy. He's a good guy. I can see why he probably got a, a bit shaky with uh, Ilya because, you know, if he's fumbling around like, you know, superstars like me, then like, I can see why Ilya might unnerve him a little bit. I did. I intimidated him a little bit. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe. It was it was probably the block acid gear that I was wearing. I was uh, with the block acid team, so I think he got a little nervous. Now nah, I'm joking. No, he, he was a great guy, absolutely great guy. He says, boys, I've got a message for you. He says he's getting that one back with Ilya. He's he's taking some time. He's going to get a fight in. Um, he's going to get a fight in before um, the Ilya fight because Ilya uh, always pretty much booked and. He's getting one. He's getting that back over Ilya. He's coming back for the belt. He's going to smash Ilya. He doesn't care whether it's in Spain, anywhere. He says he's getting that one back. I've been with the Black Asset community now for over four years, and it's brought me some incredible experiences. I was lucky enough to go to UFC 304 as a VIP with the Black Asset team. Uh, if you haven't joined the community, join. It's like-minded people like me and you've got a chance to win some incredible experiences. They officially partnered with the UFC. Check out blockpicks.gg and like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. So here's to the fighters, the fans and the game. Here's to the blood, sweat and tears and the fame. And here's to as in key, you're ready to go on the brutally honest MMA show.